Hello, I'm the Watch Monster, and in this video we're going to be looking at the Radcliffe Signature. Now, I will point out straight away that the watch I'm showing in this video has actually sold out, which is quite unfortunate. But, uh, Radcliffe do have the salmon dial variation of this watch. Uh, currently limited quantities remaining, so if you are potentially interested in getting that watch, then this review still applies, um, apart from the colour, obviously. Everything else I talk about uh, will be the same for the uh, salmon dial variation. So you might want to get in there quickly, and hopefully this video will help you uh, make that decision, whether you want one or not. So, I've had this watch a couple of months now, and I'll just tell you straight off the bat, I am very impressed with this watch. It came in this nice leather pouch here and you'll know if you've seen any of my previous videos I do like it when uh, the watches don't come in some massive box that's going to just sit in the back of a cupboard taking up space um, I really like this presentation nice and simple little leather travel pouch little slot here with the warranty card in and inside was also a Radcliffe signed cleaning cloth so nice impressions uh, to begin with when unpackaging this watch and here it is the Radcliffe signature and this is the turquoise version and it's absolutely stunning <laughs> so the first thing that grabs your attention is this amazing dial really nice pattern on this dial now I wouldn't say it's completely unique I have seen a, a similar pattern before uh, namely the mandala uh, watch by second hour watches it kind of reminds me of the uh, patterns I used to make as a kid with one of those uh, spirographs um, hands up if you remember those <laughs> but yeah absolutely stunning looking watch. So looking at this dial in a bit more detail we see the Radcliffe logo printed on there and really nicely polished hands and uh, indices around this. Also interesting to see is we have a date at the six o'clock position here and it's also good to see that they've modified the uh, date wheel to colour match uh, the dial as well. I think a, a white coloured date wheel would have looked a bit odd so it's nice to see they've uh, gone to the effort of actually changing that. Nicely bordered as well and the bezel around the edge here is a fixed bezel With polished edges there. Now this is a double domed sapphire crystal and what you do get is this nice well in my opinion it's nice uh, distortion when you look at it at certain angles. I know some people might not like that but for me it just adds a bit of character. I mean you're not going to be looking at the watch from this angle to tell the time anyway but yeah I just like playing with that. So dimensions wise, uh, this is 40 millimeters across. Mm -hmm. uh, thickness is about uh, 13 millimeters when you include the domed sapphire. And it's about 47 millimeters lug to lug. So it doesn't actually wear really big for a 40 millimeter watch. So it's a size that will fit uh, most wrist sizes. We do have a uh, NH36 movement in here operated by this nice knurled crown on the side here and it's nice to see that it's also signed so yeah there's a lot of detail a lot of attention to detail gone in designing this watch so just looking around the case we do see it's mostly a brushed finish 
which I quite like. Uh, it makes this watch not too blingy. You just have the occasional polished edge here and there, which does catch the light without it being a bit too over the top. Case back, again, really nice little details here. We have a coin edge around the case back here. And even the custom rotor as well is this rose gold coloured. Again, just makes these watches really stand out from the competition, in my opinion. Now, these are limited runs, these watches. I believe there's a 100 made of each uh, variation. And I have number 48 as printed there. The bracelet, again, <laughs> only positive things to say about this bracelet. Um, nice beads of rice style bracelet. Again, polished in the right places just to catch the light. Nice solid milled clasp. And there are only two micro adjustments, but for me this is not a big issue. Because if you see the size of the links, they're quite small. And really... You only need as much micro adjustment to replicate one entire link I in realistically, so that's not really a problem for me. And the clasp is signed as well. Now, when I first got this watch, um, there was a negative to begin with. This clasp wasn't... No, I mean, normally with clasps like this, you can just press and that would be it be it secured but what I noticed with this watch is even if I just pressed it in it wasn't always fully locking and sometimes the clasp would slip open again and what you had to do was make sure you pressed in the lugs at the side here and really press it down to try and get it to lock but after a few weeks of wear and using this watch I found that issue went away, so it's kind of broken itself in. And now it's not a problem. If I just press it, it locks. It doesn't come open again. So, yeah, what I thought was going to be my only negative with this watch fixed itself with a few weeks' use anyway. So that's something to bear in mind if you do get one of these watches. Just uh, work the clasp. Um, if you do have that issue to begin with, and uh, hopefully it will sort itself like mine has. So other things to note as well, I've noticed when using this watch, it's incredibly legible. Um, there's a good amount of anti-reflective coating on this watch. Even the sapphire bezel here also has anti-reflective coating. So yeah, there's a, you're getting a lot here for your money. Um, and talking of money... The cost of this watch, well, the Salmon Dial one that's currently available, is £289. And considering other watches I've experienced in that price point, I can't think of many that have the same attention to detail and quality as this one does. So this watch is a big thumbs up for me. Now I'll just cut away, put it on my wrist, show you a wrist shot and also a loom shot. So there it is on a eight and a half inch wrist and doesn't it look good? <laughs> I really do enjoy this watch. So yeah, if you are interested, get that salmon dial one because I think it looks just as gorgeous as this one. Because um, I don't know if they're ever going to make these again in the future. Right, uh, to a loom shot, we'll see how that looks. Okay, and that's how the loom looks. Really nice, bright, crisp. Um, using the BGW9 uh, Super Lubinova, which uh, I really like because you get that nice icy blue colour. So yeah, can't really fault the loom either.
so that's the Radcliffe signature. Very impressed with this watch. I think this is a keeper. Really have enjoyed wearing this watch. As I say, I've had it a couple of months and I've hardly worn any other watches in that time. I've really enjoyed this one so much. So I'll leave a link in the description to Radcliffe's website uh, to where you can still pick up that uh, salmon variation. Um, but that's correct at the time of this video going up. Um, I don't know how long it will be until they'll sell out. Probably not too long, I should imagine. So, that's it for this review. Really impressed with this watch. It's a big thumbs up from me. If you're interested in seeing more uh, watch reviews, I tend to focus on more affordable types of watches, then please consider uh, liking and subscribing to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.